So now we have to solve the eigenproblem. Right? This is the same solution we've, or procedure we've been doing before, um, but let's go through it real quick. So we have first the x problem, so d uh, theta x dx squared plus uh, lambda squared theta x equals zero, right? That's what we're trying to solve now. So the solution for this, uh, for theta x, you could go to maple or by this time you could probably recognize that theta x is gonna be C1 times sine of lambda x plus C2 times cosine of lambda x. Okay, so then taking the derivative of that, um, uh, with, sorry, the first boundary condition here, right? This, this boundary condition here, taking the derivative gives us uh, theta x, x equals zero is gonna be C1 times lambda times cosine of lambda times zero minus C2 times lambda times sine of lambda times zero, right? And then this is just saying C1 is equal to zero. Our boundary condition says that's all equal to zero. C1 times lambda times one has to equal zero. So C1 has to equal zero. Okay, so then we're left with this. Uh, theta x is equal to C2 cosine of lambda x. And this is our eigenfunction. Okay. All right, so solving the other part of it then, um, theta x is equal to, uh, we just had that down there, C2 cosine of lambda times x. So now enforcing the other boundary condition the, at the convection boundary, uh, we have minus k times theta dx at x equals L is equal to h bar times theta at x equals L. So we substitute in the derivative, multiply that by minus k, and then substitute in theta and multiply that by h. And we end up with uh, k times c2 lambda sine of lambda l is equal to h bar, okay, s, h bar s times c2 cosine of lambda l. Okay. Um, Right, C2s will cancel out here. And we're left with our eigen condition, which is uh, bring cosine over to the left-hand side. So then we have tangent of lambda L is equal to H bar S times L over K times lambda L, right? or H bar over K times lambda. Right, there's our eigen condition. Any questions on this so far? Yeah. Um, well, right, because the boundary condition has to be enforced for the full theta, right? So the boundary condition was still in terms of the full theta. Um, so in this case, yeah, we can, uh, take the derivative, we pull out the theta t, the theta t's will cancel just because it's, you know, you have theta t on both sides uh, and it can cancel out. So if you did that, then it would be the regular OD, not the partial. Yeah. So HS was the, HF was the, yeah, this is what Aiden was saying back up here. So this is HF, uh, which is the initial condition and HS is what it becomes after you switch it off. Sorry about that confusion there. Yeah. Right, so if we pick the negative, then we have, then the solution to that ODE is cinch and Cauch or exponentials. Those are not periodic like, the like sine and cosine are. And so you can't get eigenvalues out of that. But our point is to get to a solution that has an eigen condition that gives us the lambdas that we can solve. Okay, so let's let's finish this off here. So we have now our, um, 
our problem that we're, our eigenconditions that we're solving. So we need to go through and find these solutions here, right? This, this, this. Um, one thing to note, and actually this kind of escaped me the first time we talked through it and, and maybe led to some confusion, but the solution for this has to fall in this range, right? So the solution for this has to fall in the, in the range where tangent is positive, right? Because it's, it's equal to some positive constants um, and where that, that function is positive, right? So the repeating period where you find the solution would be say zero to pi over two, and then pi to three pi over two, right? So you, you could try to find a solution for that sort of whole range of pi, but ease is gonna have an easier time finding the solution if you kind of tell it in these pi over two increments. Um, so that I, I think I, I confused you the first time we talked through it, but that's, um, that's kind of an easier way to find that, that repeating solution there. Okay, so we do that and we end up with what? The eigen, Problem or eigen's uh, values have to be in the range um, i minus one times pi, right, where i starts at one, is less than lambda i times l, which is less than two i minus one over two times pi, for i equals one, two, three, and so on. Right? So that pi over two region uh, rolling along is what we see here. 